Hello there, Colin here. I'm going to talk to you now about the MagnaCleanse process. How easy it is to put together the MagnaCleanse unit and connect it to your filter. Come training. Can emphasize the importance of understanding what you're doing and doing it properly. We now have our filter removed. We are now ready to connect our MagnaCleanse machine. Our blue box has the AD adapters in there. Okay, so let's just open that up. And you can see straight away, we have our plate, our HTV bracket, different adapters for different AD filters. Okay, so on this occasion, our Professional 2 or Micro 2, we are going to need the plate. So we'll hold. We are also going to need the two push fit fittings. The other adapters will be used for the 28mm or our 2XP. On the end of our HTV bracket, we have three quarter threads. Our John Guest fittings will screw nice and easily onto the end. Pinch them up firmly. We now have the bracket ready to go onto our filter connection. Now, a little tip for this process. Remember our locking mechanism, our wheel. When I now put my MagnaCleanse HTV bracket on there and push home firmly, having the locking mechanism behind enables me to pull in and release easily. Now, once we've got that connected, we can now swivel our elbows round to wherever we want for our hoses, okay? So we now need to go to our Magna Cleanse machine and grab our hoses from the unit. Okay, so we've got our Magna Cleanse hoses now with our cam locks fitted here. Let's make sure we lift the arms up on the cam lock so we can connect it to our HTV bracket at the filter connection. Pull the elbow up a little bit so it's nice and easy to do. Push in firmly against the elbow and pull down together. There we are. Nice and easy to connect. Let's do the same again with the other hose. Remember what we said, lift the cam lock arms up, push firmly against the body and pull down together. Okay? Do not try and pull one arm down and leave the other one up. You'll find it will rock and you won't be able to pull them in, okay? we've got our two hoses connected, our one return hose always goes in to the bottom of the Magna Cleanse unit. Make sure you do that please. Right, so we've got the Magna Cleanse connected, we're now going to put some cleaner into the system. Okay, so we have our two chambers here. Let's remove one of the magnets from the chamber. There we are, and place it down gently. We now have our AD chemical, MC3+, Plus, or we also have MC5, our more concentrated cleaner. And basically, you can now pour them in to your chamber, and the chamber basically acts as a dosing pot, so you can get the chemical in nice and easy. Okay. Pop the lid back on, and we're now ready to pressurise the system. Okay, so we've got our Magna Cleanse now connected to our HTV bracket at the filter connection. We're now ready to start some flushing, okay? So we now need to pressurise the system up. At the moment, the system is totally empty, okay? We now need to put some water into the system. So make sure your gauge on your boiler here, your filling loop, so you can introduce water into the system, okay? Let's just go to one of the radiators now. We've pressurised the system up to one bar and the water across the bottom of the radiator is now warming up to low temperature. Okay? We want to, on these existing radiators, get them half full. The reason we're looking to do that is that's possibility where the sludge is sitting. Okay? And I want to just show you a little example of how important half-filled radiators are. My water bottle, I've just had half of it, should have had more than that today, but I haven't. 
If you imagine a radiator full, if I shook that bottle, not a lot would happen. Half filled, there's a lot happening in that bottle, isn't there? That's the same idea as we're looking. That's why we've got this radiator half full, because we're going to use our VibraClean on there to help us clean the radiator. Okay? So now, all of the radiators are half full. We now need to shut them all off, bar one. Okay, we are now ready to use the VibraClean. So we are now ready to VibraClean across the bottom of the radiators. So let's grab our piece that's in the kit of the MagnaCleanse. Cleanse. This is a one piece casting annealed and coated with nylon. Can you see the swirls on the end there? Okay, this will not mark a stove enameled finished radiator. If we have other finishes, cast iron or aluminium, be a little bit careful, we may need to use a rubber mallet possibly. Let's load the VibraClean into our small, compact drill, cordless of course. We need chisel action, not rotating hammer, chisel action available on your drill. I'm now going to run across the bottom here approximately four or five times. Just the bottom, I don't need to go all over. Ready? Once I have done that, I will calmly walk back to the MagnaCleanse unit and then look at our return hose and see if we have any changing colour of the water. That's the magnetite we've now freed and lifted from that radiator. If we do, once the hose is cleared, we may need to come back to the radiator and do the process again. You do the radiator until you don't see anything happening on the hoses. Okay? And you calmly do that one at a time, one at a time, one on, one off, one on, one off, until you've done all of the radiators on your heating system. We've now carried out the process of the Magna Cleanse. We now need to fill the radiators at full. Remember at the moment they're half full, okay? So with the boiler up on high, we now need to turn and bleed the radiators so they are all full. Leave the system circulating with all the radiators on for approximately 20 minutes. Okay, that's a key part of the process. We've now fiber cleaned all the radiators. We now need to cold flush the system. This is a really important part of the process. So first of all, we need to isolate the boiler. We need to turn the boiler off. We don't need it on for this part of the process. We also need to connect a hose pipe to our drain cock facility here, out to your drain. Okay, so all the radiators, we need to turn off bar one again, so we've only got one radiator on. We open our drain off facility and we turn the filling loop on. And what we're doing now is allowing cold mains water to come into the system to flush the flow and return pipe work right the way down to the furthest radiator that's the only one that's on. That will remove any chemical and it will come out of the hose pipe here. We then need to check what is that water quality. So with the aid of your turbidity tube or your AD rapid test stick, make sure the water quality coming out of the hose pipe is good enough. Your flush is now complete. You can now remove your magna cleanse machine from your filter connection. Okay, let's remove that and then add our filter back on to the connection and add your MC1 Plus inhibitor, okay? Make sure you add that to the system. If you happen to leave a little bit of cleaner left in the system, don't panic. Our MC1 Plus will neutralize up to 20% of either MC5 or MC3 Plus or MC3 cleaner that you may have left in the system. So look, let's have a little look and see what we've got on our magma cleanse machine. Remember, small system, let's have a little look. Ah, 
and you can see straight away magnetite on that core has captured that straight away you can see it's enough to block a coiled heat exchanger it's enough to block a radiator valve so magna cleanse is such a quick easy process to get that water quality right so look if you want to know any more make sure you go to ad.com come training otherwise i'll see you soon thank you for watching